Hello guys, I am Shayun, your Quant Mentor. In this session, we will uh, solve a typical average question as far as CAT or IBPS PO mains is concerned. At a first glance, this question might look a bit complex. However, with a little tweak here and there, we'll try to understand how to solve this question without wasting much of our time. Uh, before going ahead to the question reading as well as solution, I would request you to pause the video once, uh, read the question, try to give it a shot, and then you know resume the video and uh, look at the solution. So I, I'll give you three seconds to uh, pause the video and then move ahead with the solution. Okay, so now we have tried it. Uh, let us read the question and let us understand what the question is all about. A student was asked to calculate the average of n integers starting from one. He, however, missed a number and calculated the average of n minus one numbers instead, which came out to be 23 by 13 or rather 263 by 30. What number did he miss? Is it 27? 31? Is it 39? 40? Or 25. Now, the usual progression to this question is simply assume the number to be x. Simply assume the number to be x. Now, what would be the sum of the numbers? As we know, that sum of the numbers would be nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2. This is something that we all know. I hope you are aware of it. However, in this question, the guy calculated the average of n minus one number, right? So the sum of the sum of n minus one numbers would be what? Would be n minus x. That is the sum, right? So this is entire one to n minus x. That is a missed number. So this would be n into n plus one by two minus x. I hope this is simple and clear. Take care. Okay, moving ahead. So let us try to uh, you know solve the rest of the data. Now it is said that the average is 263 by 13. The average of n minus one numbers, 263 by 13. So we have, n n plus 1 by 2 minus x is equal to 263 by 13 into n minus 1 because that is the average of n minus 1 numbers. So the total or the summation of n minus 1 numbers would be average, which is this one, and the number of terms that we have, right? So this would be what? If we try to solve this, so this would be n square plus n minus 2x that should be equal to 526 by 13 and minus 526 by 13. Right? If you further simplify it, the 13 gets uh, multiplied here on the left hand side. So it becomes 13 n square minus 513 n plus 526 minus 26 x would be equal to zero. Now this is the equation that we have at hand. Okay. Now we have two variables and one equation. We have variable n, we have variable x, and there is only one equation at hand. Now in this question, we can solve this equation by substituting the values of x as a, b, c, d, e, 27, 31, 39, 40, and 25. Now we can solve this. However, that would make the entire calculation a bit cumbersome and uh, this method actually will really fail miserably. So what would be the alternate method to answer this question? If you, if you can solve this uh, equation by substituting the values, that is done. But however, it will lead to a lot of uh, you know, clumsiness in your paper, in your rough sheet. So let us try to understand that we have a better option. Let us try to look at this. Let us ditch this method as of now, and let us try to look at any other method that we could have applied in this question. I have cleared the drawing, and I'm starting it afresh. Okay, so the boy was supposed to find the average of consecutive integers from one to n. I hope this is clear. 
Now the above set of numbers represent a the above set of numbers, which means this one. The set of numbers represent a sequence with a constant difference of one. Can I say this is a constant difference, which is or, or the common difference that we say? So since he has missed, since he has missed one number, the maximum difference in the average calculation could be half of the constant difference, right? So half of the constant difference would be what half? I hope you've understood this. If not, let us let let me show an example. Uh, let's say the average of the average of uh, one, two, three, four, five is what three, the middle one. However, if we exclude one number, let us say the maximum number. So the average of one, two, three, and four is what? Is it 2.5, right? So if we exclude the maximum number from my set, the maximum difference in the average, can I say it is half of the common difference, half of common difference, right? So the half of common difference is half, which means that half into one is half, right? So the maximum difference in the common, uh, in the maximum difference in the common difference would be half. Okay. So which means that the average calculated by the person was 23 by 13, right? 263 by 13 is nothing but 23 by 13. Take okay. it. Now, can I say this number is somewhat, you know, closer to 20, right? So since the student has missed one number, the actual number or the actual average would lie somewhere out here or somewhere in the range 23 by 13 plus minus of half. That should be somewhere out there, right? So which means a value nearer to 20. Now the average of the first natural numbers of the first n natural numbers is given by, I hope you know, the average of the first n natural numbers is given by The average is given by the first term plus the last term divided by two. So in this case, it would be for n terms, it would be one plus n by two. Take it. Now this one plus n by two should be near about you know, as I said, near about 20. This one plus n by two would be near about 20. So which means that one plus n would be near about 40. Or in other words, I can say that n would be near about 39. Am I clear? So since the guy has missed one number and the average came out to be 263 by 13, the denominator being 13, which means that the number of terms after missing one number must be a multiple of 13. Usko kya mila tha? 263 by 13, right? After missing out that number. So can I say that the number of terms after missing that one number has to be a multiple of 13. So the nearest multiple of 13, around about, you know, around 20 is 39 the nearest multiple of 13, right, is 39. So since 39 is a multiple of 13 near 40, the number of terms after missing out one number has to be 13. So matlab kya, jo n minus one number tha, wo kya hoga? 39, which means that there were 40 numbers or 40 terms that he was asked to find initially. Initially, usko bola gaya tha ki one se 40 tak, Average nikal ke batao. But he has missed one term and he has found out the average of 39 terms. I hope this is crystal clear. Agar koi dikkat hai to comment section mein bol dera. I will address it. Okay. So I think we are done with this. Next. So we know that we have 40 terms. Now the sum of the numbers from 1 to 40 kya ho jayega? 1 to 40 tak. Sum of the numbers kya ho jayega? Iska sum. 
इसका सम क्या हो जाएगा फोर्टी इंटू फोर्टी वन बाई टू आई होप यू नो दिस एन इंटू एन प्लस वन बाई टू राइट सो दिस बिकम्स फोर्टी वन इंटू ट्वेंटी विच इज एट ट्वेंटी ये क्या आया ये आया सम ऑफ दी फर्स्ट फोर्टी नेचुरल नंबर राइट नाउ वॉट इज द सम ऑफ नंबर कैलकुलेटेड बाई द स्टूडेंट द स्टूडेंट गॉट द एवरेज एज टू सिक्सटी थ्री बाई थर्टीन फॉर हाउ मेनी नंबर फॉर थर्टी नाइन नंबर विच कैन आई से दैट विच मीन्स दैट द सम ऑफ द नंबर सम ऑफ द नंबर दैट द स्टूडेंट कैलकुलेटेड दैट द स्टूडेंट कैलकुलेटेड इज टू सिक्सटी थ्री इंटू थ्री विच इज सेवन एटी नाइन if you subtract 820 and 789 so i'll get the remainder or i'll get the subtract value subtracted value as 31 and this is the number that the student has missed samajh mein aaya na usko pehle kya bola gaya tha 40 uh, natural numbers ka sum batao average batao usne kya kiya usne kiya ki ek number ko bhul gaya aur wo 39 numbers ka average nikala so 39 into the average would be equal to the sum of the 39 numbers concept clear hai now 40 jitna sum of the 40 terms minus sum of 39 terms should give me the missed number right so the missed number is 31 and your option is b b is the correct answer ठीक है, आई होप दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज क्लियर नाउ दिस इज अ वेरी टिपिकल क्वेश्चन इन कैट एज वेल एज आई बी पी एस पीओ मीन्स यू माइट फेस सच क्वेश्चन एंड आई वुड डेफिनेटली वॉन्ट टू नॉट टू वेस्ट अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम ऑन दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू नो सॉल्विंग इक्वेशन एंड देन सब्सिट्यूटिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स एंड यू नो वेस्टिंग अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम सो आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सॉल्व इन सम काइंड ऑफ एन अनकनवेंशनल मेथड विच विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू टू रिड्यूस योर टाइम इन द एग्जाम हॉल I hope this is clear. Let me know if there is any question regarding this. I'll be glad to help you. Thank you, guys.